guys, Alan Mark here, this is Mark and this is a first time ever on my channel because I never ever do any tech reviews about gadgets, computers or phones but today is the first time because I'm going to be telling you about the new Huawei Mate 30 Pro and I'm going to tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it and if you guys should buy it or not. So. Let's get to it. All right, so first things first, before we get technical, I'm gonna tell you about the phone and the design itself. So when I bought this from Pavilion, I was so excited to unbox it. I didn't wait till I got home. In the grab car straight away, I opened it up and I wanted to see what it looked like and how it felt in my hand. It's very strange in my opinion. It looks a little bit like a washing machine, don't you think? But my friends quite liked it. They said it was very unique, very interesting. And I'm definitely gonna stand out in the crowd. If I make a phone call, as you can see, you can see the sexy camera right there. It fits nicely in my hands as well. I'm also loving how shiny the back is and you can see all the different colors. What do you guys think? Do you think this is a strange design for a phone? Okay, so now we're gonna get a bit technical, but don't worry, I'm not gonna use any big words because I don't know them myself. This has got something called a ultra slow mode. Now this ultra slow mode shoots at 7,680 frames per second. Now if you're thinking, huh? what the hell is that? Okay, that means it's gonna take 7,680 shots in just one second. Gila, gila, gila. Let's talk about the ultra low light mode. And this is one of the features, actually probably one of my favorite features I think about the Mate 30 Pro. This allows you to actually shoot videos in really low light. So I was in KL. I saw the towers, I saw Jalan Alor, and the colours really come out so strong, even when it's really, really dark. Cool, because I like to shoot in the evening sometimes, and I use my digital camera normally, and this is just a phone. So in the future, I might not even bring my digital camera, I might just vlog on this. Now you're probably thinking, Mark, you're stupid lad, how can you record a vlog on this phone? The battery is gonna die. Well, that is where you're wrong, because this is a very powerful device, 4,000. 500 mAh on this. Now, as you guys know, I do some very stupid, very bother things on my channel. That is because I'm a bit stupid in real life. And stupid things mean I forget to charge my phone. So this has got a feature called the super charge. You're sleeping, you're watching some silly videos, and you forget to charge your phone and you fall asleep. You wake up, oh shit, my phone's got no battery. Well, you actually charge this, and within about half an hour, you're gonna get at least 50% of the phone charge. So like I said, I haven't really got to bring a power bank anymore. All right, so I've been praising the phone so far, but I'm gonna talk about something that I don't like about the phone. On the Mate 30 Pro, it uses its own mobile services, the HMS. So that means some of my favorite apps I've actually got to download via a third party, which can be a little tedious at times, but that doesn't mean I can't go on my favorite apps like Instagram, Facebook, play my games, because I can get on them. But as I said before, if you think it's a bit tedious having to go to all these third party sources to download apps, maybe this phone isn't for you. Okay, let's move on to the multi-screen collaboration. Now you guys are probably thinking, what is a multi-screen collaboration? Now this is a YouTuber's heaven. If I'm recording a video and I've got it on my phone, I can access it on my laptop with just one touch. All I've got to do is touch my phone onto my laptop and straight away I can actually access my phone on the computer. So I can put my phone down, relax, and do my work and my phone is actually on my laptop. All right, so to sum up the Mate 30 Pro, for someone that takes a lot of videos, I am absolutely digging the video features on this. You've got the slow mode, you've got the ultra low light. Let me think, yeah, I'd probably actually say this is the best phone in my opinion that I've come across so far for vlogging and for taking videos. Battery life, as I mentioned before, is pretty, pretty good. I love the supercharge on this as well. The one negative, once again, of course, is gonna be the fact that I've gotta do third-party sources to download some of my favorite apps. But as I mentioned, there are ways where you can get them on the phone, and of course, you can get the Google Play Store on this. So it's not the end of the world, but if you think it's a bit tedious, maybe this phone isn't for you. 3,899 ringgit is what it's going for. I think it's quite reasonable for a phone that's as powerful as this. If you're a tech lover, I think that's a good price. Definitely the video features for me, 
that is well worth the money. So what I didn't know was you can't actually buy this phone without a referral code. So when I bought this phone, I got my own referral code. It's down there on your screens. This is for the Mate 30 and the Mate 30. 30 Pro. So yeah, this is the first time I've ever done a tech review on my channel. Let me know your thoughts down below and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you guys have on the Mate 30 Pro. I've been Mark, see you next time.